What up, you beautiful individuals? And so lately, what I've been doing on my Twitch streams is I've been letting the chat decide what video games I play. I personally enjoy horror games that not a lot of people know about because there's usually a lot of funny stuff in there. I know a lot of my YouTube audience don't really like Twitch streams, so that's perfectly okay. I want to give my YouTube audience the same chance as my Twitch fans. So guys, in the comment section below, leave what games you guys want me to play. But with that all out of the way, let's get into Paranormal Entity! So I've been told to play this game by my Twitch stream, and apparently it's got a lot of jump scares, so I can't wait for that. But let's read the story real quick. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go to this asylum, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make a contact with the spirits inside. Alright, let's get our booty cheeks clapped. Alright, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. Ah! Pack is a flashlight. A That's the second time I've been scared by a fucking door. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. God, I hate and doors. Ready... This is goddamn nice. creepy. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 18. Closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed but to house. Why does that door close? Patients, but at its peak, there was around 300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Oh, that's fucking nice. Uh, the patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate. To together with legitimate psychopaths. This is where the hundred hall of violent monsters Excuse me, sir. You're, you're talking at the same time. I can't understand you. I can't understand you. What the fuck? Is that an arrow? What, what happens if I go over it? Alright, this is a good place to start. Oh, okay. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of scene. What? Don't awaken this place. your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Uh, how do I play it back? Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, alright, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. No, don't listen to him. No, don't to come to life. D don't listen. Give us a sign that you're here. Don't listen to him. But at least ghosts aren't fucking doing anything. Ghosts of Saint Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Oh motherfucker! Or piss off. Ah! Ow, motherfucker! I stubbed my toe. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right. Really? Are you, you fucking sure? Bro, fuck these guys. God, I hate my life. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract. The East Social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. I'm gonna get my ass in, aren't I? This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. Okay, so that's not where we're Murder not going, alright? think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims that's hot. never identify him because he managed to convince them gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured and the ones who did wandered around the facility blind uh, and bro, get me the fuck out of here, bro. What student debts do you need to fill out? This is asinine. Who the fuck decided to- Oh, fuck no, it's an arrow. This asylum. We know Motherfucker, just we what the fuck just happened? This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, 
interact and manipulate him in any way as you see. Oh, kill yourself! What the fuck? Don't just stand there. Go, go check it out. The fuck was that? I just realized I'm recording everything. Where the fuck is the camera? Is it in my mouth? Oh, fuck no. The fuck is this? Is this where I'm gonna get fucking ass fucked? I hate this shit so fucking much, bro. I I, I just want to go home. I do not want to be here. Hello? Ah, fuck you, bitch. You, you you ain't shit. You're a fucking wheelchair. The fuck you gonna do to me, huh? You fucking wheelchair? Are you are, what? Are you like groping your ass? What the fuck are you doing in there? Excuse me! I excuse me! Hello? H hello? <laughs> I don't think she wants me in here. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. R really? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, we're going, we're going! Alright, get out of this hallway and then take a, take your second right. We're chilling, we're chilling. Oh, uh, okay, there's a- uh, there's a staircase. Hey, what staircase?! Oh, fuck no. Who the fuck- n Kill yourself. You think I'm gonna go up these fucking stairs?! No! Oh, you motherfuckers. Now what? Okay, we need to let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Okay, this this was not here before. There was no fucking downstairs before. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. That's what I just said. What's going on? All right, all right. Just I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Oh fuck! Oh, kill yourself! I, I, I'm no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Let's go down. Fuck. Stop it! I don't fucking like this one goddamn bit. Are they having an orgy in there? What the fuck is going on? You look like a fucking idiot. What? What are you doing in there? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him do his thing. I'm gonna I'm beat the fuck out of whoever tries and fucking messes me again. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck is going on? I swear to God, if I get jump scared right here, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Motherfucker. About the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse. But at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them. Clive would be there, waiting for him, and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. His pattern didn't stop. Who the fuck? Bro, I do not want to go back. I don't have a fucking flashlight. Oh, kill yourself. Oh, motherfucker! Alright, time to go. Oh, what's up, dog? What the fuck was... Is he behind me? Ah! Oh! He is! He is! He is! Be nice if my character could fucking run! 
motherfucker. Open the fucking door. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. You got a choice. Either he gets you, or you're, you're gonna have to cut him out. You mother... You, you cannot be fucking serious right now. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm, hell no. Look, uh, I'm, if you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry, but we're not coming. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. You pieces of shit.